YouTube, what it do? It's your boy VReacts, bumming at you with a brand new video. Hey man, today we got a beggar. Y'all know it's gonna be a beggar. Just look at the screen. Hey, today we got Modern Woman says men only have standards because of Kevin Samuels. Look, man, look, 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 look. Off the rip, I'ma say this. Kevin Samuels did come in the game, say a lot, show a lot, and tell a lot. He did, but I'm 28 years old, man. I know how it was. Before Kevin Simmons came out, fam, man, we already been saying this shit on one star sales. He just came in a different manner and put it on the on the national spectrum. You know what I'm saying? But we've been saying this in our community. Of course, y'all don't know because at that time we didn't really have no people speaking out about how we felt towards certain things as in that nature. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all could Females can think what they want, bro. They ain't never fucking right. Half, half the things they say, they repeating that from somebody else they heard. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, it is what it is. Let me know how y'all feel about that shit, though. Without further ado, though, we finna get to the video. But if y'all like the intro, man, be sure to go like the video right now. Because if you like the intro, you're going to like the video. Comment if you got something to say about the video or me. Subscribe if you're new and fuck with the content, man. Without further ado, let me get to this next topic, right? Um, cause we was on that one for a minute, like, but it was a, it was, a, I think it was a good conversation. Like, um, you had, a, I know you wanted to talk about, you was talking about men's standards, right? And you said that men didn't have standards, or do men have standards outside of the ones that Kevin Samuel set? Mm -hmm. Um, can you elaborate on that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the next subject. No, because I. Just All right, hold on. I just want to like be for real. I gotta get a good Anytime pause for him. Now <laughs> that's the next time you'll set. Mm -hmm. Um, can you elaborate on that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, fool. <laughs> that's the next subject. <laughs> no, because the one in the middle straight. Like be for real. Anytime you ask a man now or any podcast a man has, and they say the requirements, they're literally listing the same ones that Kevin Samuels had, and this is like because that's what we want. Recipes. All right, like, yeah, recipes to that guy, but. And when we ask y'all, y'all, y'all shit the same. We want to do this rich that got more money than us, who able to take care of us. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all say the same shit too? Like, for real? There's no other requirements that you guys, it, what do you guys say? Fit, feminine, mm. cooperative. Cooperative. Yeah. Fit, feminine, and friendly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, before he said it, that's what men always wanted. He just yeah, had a loud fact. voice. Yeah, he coined the phrase, but yeah. he didn't make it. I've, I've heard men say, like, you know, like, but you know what it is? Other than Kevin Samuels. Uh -huh. That's not piggybacking off of Kevin Samuels. Mm. Then it's like, now when I listen to podcasts or like when you ask like men that you know is like, I'm one, and I'm gonna say the man is fair. I feel like Kevin Samuels just set like that standard for them. And that's, that's just where they stuck at. When it's like, like, really, t and then it's like, they get those things and the women is still not satisfying them because I just feel like it's not what you want. I just feel like you're saying that because it was handed to you in a handbook. You get me? I think that's, you know, you know how, you know how women got their non-compromisable. That's what we were not willing to compromise on. Like you trying to be, we want a woman that's feminine. We would prefer a woman that's fit. No, I mean, friendly is What's not. What's fit to y'all? I mean, everybody got not different. Not obese. Yeah, yeah shape. Everybody not got obese, different. That's all. What you mean? What's it? BMI of 25 or below. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they're all obese married women. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody, everybody See, got different. That's what I'm trying to but see again, how we, many? I think when, when, when Kevin Samuels make the, when he says feminine fit and friendly, right? He's talking about what men genuinely want across all ethnic groups, right? Mm -hmm. Not even, not just black men. This, this is making yourself more available to all ethnic groups. That's just the borderline right there. You get what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. unfortunately, when we say those things, then we have women on the other end. Well, what about Lizzo? Like, you always want to make the exception to the rule. And like, genuinely, men don't like big women. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all get keep saying It is some that like them big, though. And like, you know, but the generally, average weight for a black woman is like, what, 175, 180? Yeah. That's crazy. Like, that's what men weigh. Like, you get what I'm saying? And not even men reaching out those. You get what I'm saying? So, <laughs> as, you know, and we could talk about obesity just amongst black women. Like, you know what I mean? That's a, they lead the league in obesity. Like, you know what I mean? That, and that contributes <laughs> to heart disease, cardiovascular disease, a lot of health issues. And, you know, in our society, Diabetes. we keep trying to not hold those women accountable and keep saying, well, she, she, she loves, you know, she loves herself and yeah, stuff like that. But these are real health issues that really affect and that's killing black women. That's yeah. a really a thing. So, um, you know, to go back to your thing, um, I, I get what you're saying because it sounds like everybody just piggybacking off of what Kevin mm -hmm. Samuels said. But, you know, the thing about Kevin Samuels and about these podcasts is that 
men are finally in positions to have these conversations about, mm-hmm. you know, what it what what it is that they require in a woman. Like, you know, before we we probably did accept the bare minimum. She just probably had to have a fat ass, you know, nice titties, whatever mm-hmm. the case is. Mm-hmm. And, you know, now men are realizing their value, I think. And now we're saying, hey, you know what? This is what we require in women. And women are like, damn, y'all ain't never had standards before. Like, where the fuck all these standards came from now? Like, you get what I'm saying? So it was happy like, wife, happy life. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like... It doesn't really surprise me that that is. Let me see what she, before she talk, bro. I'm fucking with the short. Our looks. If she says some dumb shit, fool, I'm finna crash out on video. What? Uh, you know. So I feel, I feel like it doesn't really surprise me that that is what men want. I feel like across the board, men are simple. You guys are simple creatures. Mm-hmm. So being so, it's not. And y'all also are more so more so logical. So it's not really mm-hmm. a surprise that across the board, these are the let's say three to four main things that you look for because mm-hmm. it's going to be just the just that. So my okay, only- hey hey, I ain't gonna lie, y'all was gonna see a crash out. Thing is, uh, like I I meet a lot of guys that you know you want your woman to know how to make like collard greens and baked macaroni and cheese and you know. All this other stuff, mm-hmm. and then you want you want her to be well versed in that, mm-hmm. and then That's fit picking. at the same time. Don't get me wrong; I could do both. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I what does being able to cook have to do with being fit? <laughs> My nigga, uh, what? Uh, it's, Don't exactly the is. is they laughing because she said some dumb shit, or is they laughing because they agree? Like, I'm not talking about being able to cook because, like I said, I could do both. <laughs> Personally, I I eat healthy. I yeah. eat healthily, mm-hmm. and I and I know how to make macaroni and cheese, collard greens, <laughs> fried chicken, and all of that. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying some. is, a lot of a lot, I'm talking about culture. So a lot of women who grew are up eating that, I get what grew you're up saying. eating that, mm-hmm. well versed in in those things, mm-hmm. they don't have healthy lifestyles. Mm-hmm. So it's well, like. I don't know because we're Jamaican and we drink, we eat like a lot, but we're like we're like we call it big bone. Like you, th- I get what you're trying to say. That it's I still, it's it. ultimately still a choice. It is. You can make that food and you can make a portion. Now, yeah. when you it's go on there choice. for second and thirds, that's when you pass the calorie <laughs> deficit. All right, yeah. so like we can sit here and make excuses like, damn, that shit was just so good, I just got fat off of it. I eat like, you get what I'm saying? Like these excuses. Can. No, I, just I, I, I mean, you know, you go to the gym. Yeah, this is this what I would say. Now, the one thing that I that I noticed from like the last couple of comments is that, um, you know, you said you can do both. Right. And it's not a problem for you. But you argued that point um, earlier. You said that, you know, people are complaining about being, you know, you want somebody who's fit and friendly. Now, which one of those aren't you? But friendly. So you're not friendly. Okay, because women, man. women. I'm we, friendly. I'm late. Well, okay, good. <laughs> the reason why I said is because women often argue part points that don't that even apply to them. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are we doing? Like, yeah. y'all arguing points that y'all we y'all y'all are doing your thing. Control. So you y'all you realize you realize what it is you're supposed to be doing, and you are doing it. You're adhering to it, but you're arguing you a point argue, for what? Right? What are you, what are y'all arguing about it for? And y'all know that's what y'all supposed to do. Oh, and you're point. doing it. Uh-huh. That's the point of the show. No, oh, no, no, it's not. It's not. No, but what I've experienced is because the lady. I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't, I won't like come out and say hey, I know how to make collard greens and ribs. I don't even eat ribs, but macaroni cheese and all this other stuff. But if you see me cooking and you ask me what I'm cooking, and I'm like, yeah, I just made some grilled salmon and some steamed broccoli, and mm. then, you know, looking like That's you fun. know, well, she doesn't eat. Uh, I mean, a real man going to be happy whatever his lady makes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Oh, throw some garlic um, powder in the broccoli. I, I, I hear y'all saying this girl power stuff. I think women need to hold more women accountable. That's I think true. you should sit here and say, yo, I agree why men are more attracted to slim and mm-hmm. fit and women that can cook. I, yep. y'all under- it's men hard holding women accountable because they want to fight. Huh? Really? The girlies be wanting to fight when you hold them accountable. Then, uh, well, 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 look, it you know what's not making it any better? You defending their stupidity. So you saying you're scared? Scared. I'm saying you. She ain't trying to touch <laughs> Not being, you saying some dumb shit. I don't know how the dudes co-sign it right now. Not wanting to fight got nothing to do with being scared. You just, you just gonna just randomly just say some shit that you know gonna make somebody want to fight. My nigga, you want to fight? 
You want to fight? You don't have to defend them, but you don't have to agree with them at the same time. But by y'all saying what y'all saying, this argument or the debate part of supporting women that feel that way, that's not even here, mm -hmm. is a problem because they like, oh shit, she got my back. That's I'm going to sit here, I'm going to be big and, mm -hmm. and not cooking and da-da-da because -da -da, I got girls on a pod. Damn, a daily rap-up crew took them out. Let me be big and not cook. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. She's not even big exactly. and she's taking up from that. Who am I to tell somebody, like, who am I to, like, lower somebody's confidence? Like, do no, you, if you, it's, if it's you not, can't get a man because confidence. of that, then that's on you. Yeah. I don't got no confidence. Well, I feel, like, I feel like in general, though, yeah. like, no, go ahead, actually. I was missing a thought. No, go ahead. You got it. How, why is that lowering her confidence? Yeah. You know what I mean? You're, You're making her a what better person say, by holding hey, her confidence. Um... The truth. Men yeah. all yeah. all the truth. Truth. The truth. Truth. from the women, uh, bro. Truth. 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 No, what I was going to say and was, I, I think like for... you should just lose weight. But how can they do no, that? We got, that? We got a society on, that's Nate, encouraging to women to be bigger and obese. Like, Nobody's encouraging women to lose weight. Y'all encourage women to lose weight. You don't need to change for that man. Yeah, so like, he need to change what, for you. What's happening is you be further. <laughs> <laughs> right now, no, but I think for the most part, you should have, out of all the things that you want, you should bring some of those things as well. So like me, I would want someone that's fit and I know that I'm fit. I work mm -hmm. out. So I would want that as well. Okay. Same way yeah, with money. I know sense. I'm going to make, I'm going to have motion. So you got to have motion. Right. So it's the same exact thing. I think for the most part, yeah, I don't, I don't uh, agree with, yeah, just... One yeah. sided. Mm -hmm. Well, all I'm gonna say is men men go hold, hold other men accountable. You know what I mean? If you see yeah, somebody right. walking down the street, he not doing he's supposed to be you about my ass nigga. They go they go yeah. they go yeah. hold them accountable. Yeah, we do it. And that's why mm -hmm. men are trying to improve themselves so they know how to have them conversations with other men. So women need to do that so women can do, do the really same thing. Do you think men are trying to improve themselves or do you think men are sitting around complaining? Complaining? Complaining. I think men are really sitting around complaining now. I think we have a standard well, that we are you not about, You talking about men on podcasts? What are you talking about? You no, should... I'm just talking oh, about right, men. Right. Right. <laughs> women, women, <laughs> women hate that men have podcasts because they find no, They get to listen to what men have been yeah. struggling with for years and now they got to hold themselves the accountable. It's not the podcast. It's literally like if you look on things sometimes and you read the comments, it's like men complaining and they even come for the men on the podcast. But it's like when you really get to Everybody, know them, they really sitting in the garage or for like bum ass Wi-Fi complaining about women. But it's like, mm -hmm. why are you not building yourself up so you don't have to complain about women so you can open up the options for you? No, they're on the internet literally complaining. He I'm probably ain't got no friends of, you know what I mean, that's doing nothing with their lives to hold them accountable. But man. you talking about the internet, man. There's the same, yeah. the same, there's women on the internet always complain. Women have been complaining about men for but decades. But why do you guys yeah. have what to match women's action. energy? Yeah. Build yeah. yourself up and you will not have First to be in a position to match Jones, women's Jones, energy. Jerry <laughs> All these shows where women okay. been going all at Okay, all you men, all you guys say you're masculine, right? I am. Why is it? Try, why are you guys trying to match your women's energy? Why we're not? not? No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. But it's always Holding like it's up. always like women, women, women. If you just build yourself up to a certain point, you won't even have to complain about I, women I, I, I at also all. Feel you can, you can get job that as a, women as a black man mm -hmm. to inform black women that it's not attractive for them to be the way they are sometimes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I so, always and said that you guys do, I said that you guys do it I got, respectfully. I got, I got sisters. You guys do do it. I got, yeah. I got about 12 sisters. Mm -hmm. I got like a whole bunch of female cousins. I, I know I, ha I have a lot of female friends. It's my job. I have a daughter. I have a lady at home. It's my job to have the black women that I know and I see and I can reach yeah. to let them know this shit ain't cute, y'all. Y'all need to yeah. switch this up. Percy, and the same I thing, I would have the same energy yeah. for a dude as well. I was saying, I have no issue with men voicing what they do and what they want and don't yeah. want. I think that's yeah. what y'all should. That's what I yeah. want to see, actually. See, we finally yeah. have a chance to. Women had daytime talk TV all day, and mm -hmm. it's only because women are 80% of the consumer base. They spend mm -hmm. all the money. Men yeah. make all that money, but women spend the money. <laughs> so the advertisers, it behooves them to make woman-friendly content. Mm -hmm. But now we're on a different level now. Now the internet came up, people could watch a podcast from their mobile phone. It's different. And then after 2020, it's over. Now everybody has been introduced to this. Whoever didn't know, now they know. Man so now the media and whatever they want you to think and believe, however they want to persuade you, that can't necessarily, you know what I'm saying, persuade you that way no more because it's so much other people out here telling their truths and and the other side of what the media don't want you to know, you know what I'm saying? That's why they shut down Andrew Tate. That's why Kevin Samuels got gone quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to lie. I personally do think it's a real attack on people that's changing waves on social media because of the fact that that's not what they want you to see and believe. They don't want you to hear that. You know what I'm saying? They really don't. Social media platforms actually block certain content 
from being on they on they stuff. When they banned Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate never did nothing crazy. He was saying some crazy shit, but it's only crazy to people who don't already know life. <laughs> it's only crazy to people who only live on social media. But anybody that live a real life understood Kevin Samuels, understood Andrew Tate. And so when 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 the platform started blocking them and and deleting their pages off of YouTube and 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 other social media platforms, you know something going on because they're not saying nothing crazy. Even Charleston White, like they not really saying nothing crazy. Charleston White do say some crazy shit. I ain't gonna lie, but like as in that like a, a a major area, like if you actually watch the whole interview, the whole interview, he's not really saying nothing crazy, bro. So. It's definitely an attack on uh, content creators that's making like their own ways that, 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 that's defying what social media want because they will take your motherfucking YouTube channel off. You know what I'm saying? Facts quickly, too. If you're not, if you're not abiding by their rules, which is not to talk about certain shit, you're going to get banned. Men have always felt like this. We just had no outlet to express it. Mm-hmm. All, we, all we was, we were so used to lying to women because we wanted to get the pussy. We know we told the truth. We wasn't going to get the pussy. Like, right? I have a question like, for him specifically, but all you guys can answer. Do you think that men now are using, I have to ask the word, um, the term alpha loosely? Do you think every man thinks they're alpha? Every, every man would like to be an alpha. Thank right. There's, and see, here's the problem. Most people don't even understand the sociosexual hierarchy. Yeah, they it don't. It starts there's with like alpha, then there's segments. beta, yeah, there's... then there's delta, then you have gamma, then, then you have omega. On and nobody ever wants to categorize. I never heard anybody say I'm an omega or I'm oh, a gamma. De- most yeah, of us, most of, most of the world. I mean, that shit I don't fuck with anyways because that shit don't even pertain to us as humans for real, though. But at the end, and, and that's a whole different belief system. So if you believe in a different belief system, you can't believe in that belief system as well unless you that type of person who just believe in multiple belief systems and you take the best from this system and apply it to this system, kind of like how the Muslim religion do. But, you know, it's, it's at the end of the day, it's up to you, though. If you want to associate yourself as an alpha, man, that's on you, bro. You know what I'm saying? But shh, that shit weird as hell. <laughs> Straight to an alpha, and it's like yeah. how? most of the world is comprised of deltas. That's the working person. Most of us aren't even alphas or betas. As much as we say, say, oh, this guy's a beta. He's not even a beta. Mm-hmm. It's probably an omega that oh, you're omega referring that's to. Just right on, yeah, mm-hmm. it's like yeah, the dominant. Them are the most common type of people. Nobody wants to be um considered average. I mean, that's yeah, exactly. Hey, everybody <laughs> hate that. Like, oh, I'm I'm not average. What do you mean? So it's the same thing. So everybody want to be that that top tier person. But know? what do you guys consider an alpha male? Leader, confident, yeah. assertive, I mean. um, like you said, confident, mm-hmm. um, leadership skills, somebody who demands respect from his, from, you know, Not his even, peers. Like you have to be um, in the position you know, I think all of those to be considered alpha though. Make for usually a traditional alpha type of yeah. uh, male. That's what I feel like too. And I just, I, I also think like a alpha male never really has to say they're alpha, but you could tell through their outcomes and what they show and like how they deal with a situation with their hand, their dealt. Yeah. That re- it really speaks volume. You don't really, you don't really hear alpha males running around saying I'm an alpha. You yeah, get me? Yeah, for sure. But the so, crazy part is we don't like, you know, we never use that term. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was based on animals. You know, like, I hear that word more from women, honestly. We just had a whole episode woman. about alpha women. I'm an alpha. Like, I hear the term alpha more from women than mm-hmm. I do from men nowadays. Yeah. Like, you get what I'm saying? So, it's, again, it goes back to women wanting to present that they're masculine or they have to be masculine. I'm an alpha woman. Like, like that That to me is, uh, like, crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? But uh, mm-hmm. just to go back to, you know, the whole topic about the men's work, because I hear women say, do men use the manosphere to bash women? And there are some men that do use that. Right. To, you know what I mean? Um, there are, there's podcasts. You know, we like to focus on the black community or black men specifically. There's white men out here with way bigger platforms doing yeah. dating podcasts, having these same conversations. They're fr- they're just as frustrated with their women as we are with our women. Like we got different issues, but they're still having these same conversations. But nobody is saying nothing to the white men or the non-black men. But, but they're the having men these is- conversations about men. Like they're not really sitting around going as as crazy as the black man like for example they are. my See, boyfriend you're, you're like not, he mentors not, people right but listen my informed. boyfriend mentors he watches all of these things my boyfriend he mentors people right so there was a guy that left a comment he was going off all oh, these bum ass bitches he can't find a woman blah blah, blah. when he mentored the guy the guy was making ten dollars an hour about to get kicked out of his apartment so my boyfriend asked him like why are you looking 
for women. Why are you on the internet complaining right. about women when you need to be building yourself up? So can you just imagine how many of those men are sitting around complaining about yeah, women? It's like there's a lot of women like you complaining about the men that y'all don't give me, a fuck. Me? I don't gotta listen, complain about is, those damn men. Are you is, kidding me? If, you, if women don't give a fuck about these men that they complain about, why do y'all care what they say on the internet? No, I'm just saying like, because you, hours, you, you said you your said you're here, but you're saying you're here for the community, right? So I'm saying like, okay, the there's men like that complaining, so it's like, what are some solutions for them? What is, I just you, you guys like, that's why they have consultations or coaching to, to have those men. Put you them don't in even the- need consultation and coaching, my nigga. You just got to get off your ass and do what you got to do. If you only making ten dollars an hour, you know you should be making more than that, bro. So do what you got to do to make more money. That's all it is. That's all it is, bro. A place, but I think the women that that's sin- why I say it every damn near every one of my videos, bro. You have to be if you want this certain kind of woman, bro. You have to be equal. Or you really want to be greater than that, but you got to be at least equal to that. You got to deserve that. You got to know that you can get that. That's the only way you're going to be able to. And they're complaining about why men are frustrated. Why do y'all even care? They're not even on y'all radar. Like, you get what I'm saying? Who's like, complaining y'all have about no men re- being frustrated? You shouldn't. You, it you, up. you, you bring it up. You arguing somebody else's <laughs> point, like you said, bro. That's not true. <laughs> the only reason you here today is because you're frustrated argue with me. You got, you, got, you, got friends, you got friends like that? That's, that that, that want to know that? I am speaking. Who are you speaking for? For women. Which ones? Yeah, she got to think oh, about yeah, it. Oh, y'all watch that. Which ones? <laughs> no. I'm Which just one? saying, if you say we speak for the black community, but I'm like, listen, like you saying that there's um other races that have those podcasts. They are with way larger, yeah, with way you... larger subscriber base than black men. And I can I can list like mm-hmm. five to but ten right now. The black men that is sitting behind that computer. There's white men doing the same thing. Shit, there's white men acting like they black behind the computer. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when Oprah and Ricky Lake was on TV and these women that were sitting at home fat and ugly, like, well, well, yeah. Well, yeah. I hate these mom ass niggas. <laughs> Who's speaking about them then? We can always go with that. There. But, that, we but that's the issue. There. Because black women are not used to black men expressing themselves, like, now it's, it's becoming an issue. It's like, yo, I, y'all, yo, I need black men, I need y'all to be quiet because y'all airing us out to everybody and y'all letting mm-hmm. us know. And, and black women are volunteering to come on these podcasts and expose themselves. Yo, y'all need y'all to shut up. Like, you know what I mean? Y'all, y'all saying too much. And that's how it's coming off. Instead of y'all listening to black men and being like, you know what? I can understand your frustrations. Like, mm-hmm. there are some black women that behave in this mm-hmm. manner. Y'all rather stick to the sister code or tell black <laughs> men they need to shut up. And I don't think that's, I don't right. I, think, I think y'all should tell black men what y'all want from them and, it, instead and you're not even talking about the podcast itself you're talking stuff. about the guys in the comments like, you know, like <laughs> so what we talking? man look it's been a video man all these dudes really i was the only one that really saying some real shit really him huh? with the whatever this shit he got going on right here that's the only one that's really saying some real shit i ain't gonna lie bro at the end of the day though i'm pretty sure it's his podcast uh, I just wanted to see what they was talking about on the video, talking about Modern Raymond says men only have standards because of Kevin Simmons, man. That is kind of crazy to say because, like, damn, is you saying, like, I don't even know why you... That's like me That's like me saying you only got standards because of Queen Latifah and Beyonce, bro. <laughs> like, we... Like, I understand. I understand that, yeah, as black people, we don't have natural leaders. Like, the only leaders we got be comedians and entertainers and and all that little other, other bullshit, but at the end of the day, that they don't dictate shit for most of us, bro. Some of y'all, yeah, y'all be on their ass, y'all be tapping into everything they doing, yeah, y'all, y'all be subscribed and, and post notifications on, and and uh, y'all be believing everything these dudes be saying. The rappers, they be believing everything the rappers be saying. Megan the Stallion, they they see her, they 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 really want to take pictures. They big fans of them, but. Most of us at the end of the day, bro, we know we get we get money. We ain't worried about this this social media shit, fool. And that's what they fell into realize. Like Kevin Samuel was cool, he was cool to watch, but the whole time he was talking, this most of us just like, yo, we agree, we agree, we agree, we agree. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like we just remoted ourselves after the incident because of him. Some people did, because some people didn't know. But that's how the majority of people, bro. And at the end of the day, it is what it is, though, man. So, look, if y'all like this video, man, be sure to click right here. Click this video. If not, this video right here, this video right here. It's three videos on screen. But, shit, if you don't want to click one of them, man, make sure you subscribe before you leave off Instagram, Twitch, to in. I'll be on that motherfucker. Daily. It's been your boy, Variax. Peace.